Hi folks, Kevin here, the Tattoo Toy Hunter. I'm in Corpus Christi this morning, and I'm at a, one of the Walmarts here closest to my station. Of course, I'm still looking for the masters of the WWE ring with the two characters and the single carded figures. Uh, getting desperate at this point. <laughs> Just can't find it here in South Texas, so let's head in and uh, hope for good, good vibes. Maybe we'll run into them today. Still has the ring without the figures, but we did get a couple of carded figures today. Queen. We still got a couple of the ten dollar packs. And very little on uh, regular wrestlers, just basics. Let's go look over here. Looking for that king shark as well. They don't have them. Animated figures. Okay, let's go find another Walmart. And I want both of those. Never seen these before. Collectible trading card inside. I'm dead, Ned. They're actually kind of cool. 14 bucks. Those are cool. And uh, we got some more Forbidden Planet up there. And I like uh, that they got Mario. We never have Mario here. The spin around. They move things around. It's cool. So we got we got the tomato head leviathan i kind of promised my wife i was gonna stay more vintage and try and stop diving into everything <laughs> okay so let's move here of course i'm still looking for uh masters of the wwe but i'm looking for the ring that has the figures the two figures and I already see the plane ring there and no figures, unfortunately. I do see Monsoon, he's kind of new. Uh, and we got the Velveteen Dream, he's cool. There's the ring without the figures. And my store finally has the aliens. There's the tank behind that. We do have the loader. We got the loader, that's cool. These are $10 sets and they have all of them here. The only thing my store seems to be lacking is the $20 purple Alien Queen. I'm probably gonna pull the trigger. I'm like so close to the edge on getting these. I really like this one. I like the little egg with the hugger. Uh, he looks good with the space suit. I like the motorcycle. So, these are cool. Looks like a wrestler. Uh, still sad that they, we don't get these figures. So anyway, uh, they moved us over here with Star Wars. Not much. We got those three and three quarters. We got the gold. There's a few of these left as far as the six inch. You see Luke there. We got the barge down there in Chava's place. Very limited for uh, TMNT. So they moved us here in the center for Scooby. I still need to do a Scooby opening of my stuff. I like this big Godzilla. I need a grid jump on him eventually. Hmm. Going into the, some Transformers here. 
Oh, there's Power Rangers. We got some good six inch Power Rangers, as you can see. Limited on Transformers, limited, very few. Come over here, very few as well when we're looking at uh, Legends. Not a whole lot. I kind of like this Beta Ray. I'm not into Legends at the moment, but Beta Ray's awesome. Loki's awesome. War Machine's awesome. Moving over. Oh, wow. We got a few of these new multiverse. So we got the animated Harley Quinn. They are huge. These are the seven inch. I didn't realize how big they are. Here's animated, uh, is this John? Animated yeah. Batman and regular Batman. It's been a while. Looking for it for all the time we found it over there more over there. It's huge, you know? It's a big one. Look at it. It's a little beetle. A beetle. Look at it. It's pretty cool. Look at it. I would love one of my one to have a little. The cold beetle. All right, so had another Walmart right off of Greenwood here in Corpus. We're gonna be uh, still looking for that Masters of the WWE ring. So at least I've found a couple of single carded figures, but let's find the rest. All right, so again, we got just the ring. And we got Triple H. And the Ultimate Warrior, which definitely want today. about all the alien stuff. Very little wrestlers. Here's the Ultimate Warrior. All right, well, I'm gonna decide which, what I'm gonna take, either both or just one for now. Let's go to electronics. All right, my friends, so uh, I've been hunting down these Walmarts like ridiculous, looking for that stupid uh, Masters of the WWE Universe ring. I still cannot find it. Uh, they do have the single, just the ring itself, but without the figures, it just doesn't seem like a good deal. When you, for between 20 and $30, you can get them with two figures. So no luck on that. I did start, to, I am starting to see the single card though, so I picked up this ultimate uh, warrior here, I think he looks amazing. I love all the He-Man-esque accessories and weapons that he comes with. So super stoked to get this. Says that uh, he comes with, uh, includes a comic. So that's really great. I love this uh, logo here. The card itself is beautiful. It's a shame I'm gonna open him, but you get a little shot here of the animated version of him. Here's uh, his, uh, the way he moves his, Ability looks really good. He comes with a spear, very cool. And this is also the four characters in the wave. I've actually seen them all. I probably should have bought more. I need to go back. These two are at one Walmart here, and this one is where I found the Ultimate Warrior. So, between all these Walmarts I've visited, I have seen all these. I just haven't found the ring with the two characters. So, let's go ahead and we'll open them up really quick. And uh, check them out. I always love figures that have that He-Man build. So I'm going to go ahead and toss that down for now. Here's the comic book. That is awesome. Let's take a quick look at it. So the art's amazing. It's only a one-page comic, but still, it's cool that you get that. There's a little... Let's see what that is. It's got a little rundown on him. Heroic Champion of WW Eternia. Very cool. There's a little comic there. No words. But he's fighting off uh, 
Triple H, so I guess Triple H is the bad guy. Triple H looks really cool. I should have picked him up. I'm, I'm going to regret it, so I may go back here. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at this accessory. It's just solid, stamped out plastic. There is some really nice uh, sculpt to it, but they didn't put any paint love, but still it looks cool all in all. The figure is amazing, though. I really wish when we got our uh, Savage Land and Primal Age Funko figures, it would have had a solid build like this. This guy is super solid. So we got uh, what it feels like is removable knee pads. And they have the Warriors logo on them. I think that's gorgeous. You got the Warriors logo on his feet, which is on a ball. So, man, that is awesome that we got that much articulation. It's on a ball. It looks like this sheath here, piece that goes over his ankles. It moves. It's just a separate. So you got a single knee that does swivel as well, which is great. And then the foot's on a ball up here on the upper leg is on a ball so that is pretty awesome his uh waist right there swivels back and forth you've got a single elbow that actually also swivels so that's a lot of articulation pretty awesome and then uh the hands also are pegged in and they have a uh, they're pegged in with a little hinge as well, so you can do a lot with that. They spin around. He's got one open arm that'll hold his staff, and the other one's like a fist ready to punch. So they, he holds this really well. Head is on a ball, but his long, hard, uh, molded hair kind of doesn't let you do a whole lot of... The front, looking down, is really good. Back, not much. And of course, he can look sideways all the way. I love the, the colorful armbands on the upper upper bicep there that he will, wears. I'm sorry. Looks really good. Ultimate Warrior style. Really cool. So, and there's the armor he's wearing. Really nice. Again, it's just the plastic yellow, but it does have some articulation. I mean, uh, some sculpt, so it looks really nice. I love the paint apps on his face. Mine is perfect. And he has like a tattoo on his chest that looks great as well. So I'm very happy with him. I do want to get them all eventually with that ring to display them in my room. Like David Blucher that beat me to all these. So uh, next I do want to pick up Sting, Finn Balor, Finn Balor and uh, Triple H. And that ring. So uh, eventually I will get all of this. It's just going to take time because it's barely starting to trickle down in my area. Anyway, this is Kevin, the Tattoo Toy Hunter, reminding you never give up that hunt. Pew, 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 pew. Y'all take care. Peace.